family fortunes and tonight's families are the family whose head has the body of a man and the heart of a woman the Ansel family and they're playing a team whose family nickname now causes a certain amount of embarrassment the cat's tree family and here's your host Les Dennis Good evening and welcome to the show. As usual, we've got two great families hoping to go all the way to big money and win £5,000. And if they can match the top answers, they have a choice of star prize. Either this top-of-the-range family estate... Yes, it's an estate of the art and it comes complete with a high-performance 16-valve engine, safety impact systems, ABS, airbags and lots more besides. And with this car, it all comes as standard. Or a family holiday for themselves and their partners, courtesy of Air Mauritius. Steve, what's this week's location? Well, Les, it's the idyllic coastal resort of the saint Girard, Surrounded on three sides by the sumptuous Indian Ocean, you can drift along in a world of your own. Or, if you prefer, relax by the luxury poolside of your top-quality hotel with an appetising cocktail. And remember, a full range of water sports is included in the prize for our family fortune hunters tonight. Okay, Bill, meet John. Hi, guys. Hundred people surveyed in all our games. First game, we're looking for top six answers. We asked a hundred people to name something you can see through. John. Glasses. Glasses. Unless you're Deidre Barlow. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's answer number two. Yes, well played. <laughs> Bill. Uh, a window, Liz. A window. It's the top answer. Well played, Bill. What do you want to do? Yeah. Okay, rejoin your family and no conferring the Ansels and of course the uh, cat's trees. Come up with some answers in case you get a chance to steal later on. All right, then no conferring. Hi, Anne. Hi, Les. How are you doing? I'm fine. You like to go to car boot sales? I do, Les. I never understand people who go to car boot sales because, like, you sell one lot of rubbish to somebody else who's got one. another lot of rubbish. Why don't you just cut out the middleman and go to the dump? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea, Les. Okay, yes. Anne, what do you think? Something you can see through? Binoculars. Binoculars. Okay, binoculars. Yes, answer number four is binoculars. And Steve, we've got a prize. Yes, and you can take them on this holiday at a country house hotel on the edge of the Penhaven Woods in the heart of the lovely North Devon countryside. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, Tracy, what do you think? Something you can see through? Um, a camera. You can see through a camera lens. Good thinking, but it isn't there, so we lose a life on that. Paul. Address. Address. <laughs> See through dress. See through dress. See through dress. <laughs> we lose a life on it, so no. two lives have gone. It means mm. that the cat's trees might get a chance to steal later on. All right, Karen, what do you think? Telescope. You can see through a telescope. <coughs> no, good answer, but it isn't there, so we go over to the cat's trees, a chance to steal. Darren. Magnifying glass. Magnifying glass, Sarah. Eyes. Eyes. Windscreen. Windscreen. Con Julie. man. Con man, you can see through a con man. John. Keel. Which one are you going to go for? Do you look right. through keels a lot then, John? <laughs> <laughs> From a name like mine, Les, I don't know. <laughs> uh, eyes, Les. To steal, we're looking for eyes. <laughs> it's not there, so the answers. You get the money. You get the £84 in the bank. The missing answers, number six, is cellophane. <laughs> Two people said it. Answer number five is... A two-way mirror. And answer number three is... You can see through a liar. Oh, con man was getting pretty close to that. OK, a liar or, you know, our computer couldn't spell politician. <laughs> We're going to carry on round two. <laughs> Julian Ann. So let's shake your hands. Hi. Hi. Top six answers. We asked 100 people, <laughs> one hand behind your back. We asked 100 people to name an article of clothing a woman might borrow from a man. Anne. Sweatshirt. Sweatshirt. Shirt is the top answer. Check with your family. Play or pass. Okay, okay. Play, rejoin, no conferring. Tracy. Uh, trousers. Trousers. Jeans. Jeans. You might borrow a man's jeans. Let's look for jeans. Is there. It's answer number five. Well played. Paul. Okay. Oh, jacket. You might borrow uh, a man's jacket. <coughs> no, we have lost a life on it already. Karen. Uh, cap. Cap. <laughs> Two lives have gone. 
the cat's trees might get a chance to steal. You should know about this, shouldn't you? Should do. Yes. You should be instinctively. You should know yes. this. Um, socks, Liz. Socks. Okay. Yeah. You borrow uh, a man's socks. Yes. Well played, Bill. <laughs> Eleven people said socks. And what do you think? Um, underpants. Underpants. <laughs> Underpants. <laughs> so, a chance for the cat's trees to uh, score the money. Darren. Uh, slippers. Slippers. Pajamas. Pajamas. Scarf. Scarf. Coat. Coat. John. Uh, it doesn't matter if you haven't got an answer. Pajamas. Pajamas. You're going to go with we'll pajamas. pajamas. All right. If pajamas is one of the three missing answers, once again you've stolen the money. If not, it goes to the Ansels. We're looking for pajamas. <laughs> no. So it means that the Ansels once again get the money that they started. Playing for answer number six is a scarf. Answer number four is a t-shirt. And any ideas, you lot? Waistcoat. False teeth. False teeth. <laughs> Give that man an application form. <laughs> answer number two is a sweater. Right, let's play on round three. Simon and Tracy. Top six answers. We asked 100 people to name past or present a TV chat show host. Simon. Michael Parkinson. Michael Parkinson. Yes, it's the top answer. What are you doing? Play. 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 You need to play because as yet you have no money in the bank. Now, Sarah, you're a bit of a sportswoman, aren't you? I am, Liz, yeah. yeah. I'm an athlete. You're an athlete. Yep. A pretty good one, in fact. So they say. Yeah? Don't be yeah. modest. Tell us about it. Um, well, I do hurdles. Right. Um, I used, well, I did 75 metre hurdles. Right. And at that, I did, um, in the British rankings, I come ninth. Ninth in the British rankings? At my age group. Yeah. Your, it's still a fantastic feat, isn't it? Ninth. <laughs> Excellent. OK, sir, what do you think? Um, Jerry Springer. Jerry Springer is a TV chat show host, certainly present. No, do you watch it? I love watching that show, it's do you? Isn't it's it? fantastic, isn't it, eh? You slept with my husband. I'm gonna get you after him. <laughs> What do you think, Darren? Uh, Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> Two lives have gone already. The Ansels might get a chance to steal. John, what do you think? Des O'Connor. Des's chat show? Des O'Connor. <laughs> yes, well played. You saved that life, John. And we can give you a prize as well. Steve. Well done, John. You've won a short break holiday on a narrow boat on the lovely English waterways. How's yeah. that suit you, mate? Thank you very yeah. much. Brilliant. Brilliant. You can go along and try and find out the origin of your name. <laughs> <laughs> Hiya, Julie. Hello. Now then, you and Simon, uh, who was speeding? Uh, she was. I was. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs Moss here. <laughs> Set off down the road like the clappers. Um, I'm flashing my lights, waving, police car. Well, I thought... She thought it were me, <laughs> and the police car overtook me. <laughs> Set off down the road after her. I thought that were him at this point, because I started going faster and faster and faster. <laughs> and it wasn't him, it were a police car, and then these blue and lights came on, and I thought, up. no, that's not Simon, he hasn't got blue lights on top of his car. <laughs> <laughs> Well, as Jerry Springer might say, let's bring on that policeman right now. <laughs> That's a no, story. No, no. Okay, Julie, what do you think? Uh, Terry Wogan. Terry Wogan. <laughs> yes, well played, Julie. You get a prize as well. Steve, what have we got for Julie? Yes, and it's a vintage prize to be sure. You've won this selection of fine wine. <laughs> All right. If you go drinking that, don't go out speeding after, all right? No. Take it easy. Simon. Jimmy Tarbuck. Jimmy Tarbuck. No. There go the three lives. The Ansels, a chance to steal. Karen. Chris Evans. Chris Evans. Paul. Kilroy. Kilroy. Vanessa. Vanessa. Scylla. Scylla. I was going to say Esther, but I'll go for Kilroy. We want Kilroy. <laughs> no, so... Then you get the £64 in the bank. The missing answers, number six, Mrs Merton, number five, Michael Barrymore, and answer number four on a chat show host, past or present, is Bob Monkhouse. All right. That means at this halfway stage, the Ansels have £141 and the Cats Trees have £64. We're going to have a break now. Join us in a couple of minutes for Double Money. Welcome back.
back. Let's play double money. <laughs> okay, Sarah, meet Paul. Hi. Double Hi. money. Top five answers in this first game. We asked 100 people to name something that should be done slowly. Sarah. Spelling. Spelling. You should spell slowly. <laughs> <laughs> spelling. <laughs> it isn't there, Sarah. Fancy nice. that. You know, that's a real shock to me. I thought, I really thought that would be there. Paul. Um, I don't like to say this, but uh, make love. You just what did you say? Say, me, say it again. He said it very quietly. Yeah, kind of I don't know, I'm too sure. Make love. You can say it. Say it Make out loud. Love. Make love. Make love. Yes. <laughs> Is that the way to do it then? <laughs> you supposed to do it that way? Oh, I thought it was a competition. <laughs> what? what are you going to do? Play. 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 Rejoin your family. No conferring. So we come to you, Karen. What do you think? Casserole. <laughs> no. <laughs> so we lose. I thought that was a good answer. <laughs> Look what they're laughing at. <laughs> Bill. Um, eat your food, Les. Eat, eat your food. Eat your food. Eat, to eat enjoy slowly. it. Okay. Yes. So you can yes. enjoy your food yes. and digest properly. Eat slowly. <laughs> Top answer. Well played, Bill. Good answer. <laughs> and read a nice book. Read a nice book slowly. Read slowly. Two lives have gone already, so the cat's trees <laughs> might get a chance to steal. Tracy. Uh, ice a cake. Ice a cake, a cake. slowly. <laughs> <laughs> I just love these answers. They're fantastic. <laughs> Over to the cat's trees. Darren. Get out of bed. Get out of bed slowly, Darren. OK, Sarah? Make bread. Make bread slowly, Simon. Make a pot pie. Make a pot pie. <laughs> <laughs> Make wine slowly. Drive. Drive slowly. They should know about uh, that. John, what are you going to do? Make wine. Make wine <laughs> slowly. <laughs> Excellent form. Make wine. <laughs> no, so it means the answers once again get the money. Takes the score up to 241. The missing answer is number five. It's get up. Darren said that. Get up slowly. Answer number three. Is kiss, slow kiss. Answer number two is paint. See that? Look at that. More people would rather paint than make love. <laughs> Let's play on. <laughs> okay, Darren. Meet Karen. Hi. Hi. Top four answers. We asked 100 people to name someone associated with an apple. Darren. William Tell. William Tell. <laughs> Top answer. Well played. What do you want to do? Play, play, play. Play. Rejoin your family, no conferring, and of course the answers. Think of some answers in case you get a chance to steal. Hi, John. Les. What do you think? Cox. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to give us his full name? Coxes. Coxes! <laughs> we lose a life. Julie. Um, Adam. Adam, okay. Let's have a look for Adam. Adam and Eve is answer number two. Well played, Julie. Simon. Um, a worm. <laughs> what, do you want to give him a name? Is that, we don't want to just call him Worm, do we? William the Worm. Well, I was going to say, I thought that Willy Worm, it would be yeah. Willy Worm, wouldn't it? It's yeah. got to be Willy Worm. So we're looking for... <laughs> <laughs> Willy Worm. Oh. We lose a life, sadly. Sarah. James. James Worm. Yeah, you see, James and the giant peach could be related to <laughs> What a family. Let's go for. James the Worm. <laughs> Three lives have gone. The Ansels, a chance to steal. Karen. Greengrocer. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Paul. Apple pie. That's all I can think of. Apple pie. <laughs> Tracy. Granny Smith. Granny Smith. Annie. Pippins. Pippins. Bill. Isaac Newton? Isaac Newton. Which one are you going to go with? We'll go for Isaac Newton. If Isaac Newton is one of the missing answers, you're going through to big money. <laughs> yes, well played. Well played, big money. We lose the 
catch, please. That was a great game. What a lot of fun. What a great lot of answers. You're going back to Huddersfield with a canal holiday, a selection of wines and £64. Have you had a great day? Absolutely yeah. magic. Before you Thanks go, you're much. bound to want to know what that missing answer number three is. Have you got any ideas now? James? James? <laughs> Willie? <laughs> any ideas, you lot? Teacher! Smith! Granny Smith. Let's have a look. Answer number three is... Snow White! <laughs> Weren't they great? The catch trees! Well done. Yes. Well done, Bill. Are you going to play for the car or the Air Mauritius holiday? Uh, we'd like to go for the car, Les. OK, Bill, who's going to play? Well, I'm going to play and Paul's going to play. OK, Bill and Paul, join me at the mic, please. <laughs> Paul, you play first. Bill, we'll see you in a minute. Go and put the headset on and we'll call you back when we're ready for you. We're going to ask you five questions. You have 15 seconds to answer. The time doesn't begin until I finish asking the first question. Is that clear? Okay. Good luck. 15 seconds on the clock, please. <laughs> Name something that gets wet when you use it. Towel. A reason for looking in a mirror. Look at yourself. A famous British street. Coronation Street. A room in the house. Lounge. An animal that lives in the mountains. Mountains. An eagle. OK, let's see how we did. <laughs> All right, Paul. Something that gets wet when you use it. You said... Towel, our survey said... Nine people said towel. A reason for looking in the mirror. You said... Look at yourself, our survey said... Nineteen people said... We're going steadily, we've got 28. A famous British street. You said... Coronation Street, our survey said. 31. 59, no top answers so far. A room in the house, you said. A lounge, our survey said. 15. An animal that lives in the mountain, you said. An eagle, it's a bird, let's see, our survey said. <coughs> Nobody said eagle. We've got 74, it's not bad. Rejoin your family, Paul. We'll clear the board and we'll bring Bill back. Welcome back, Bill. Thanks. Paul's managed to score 74 points. Um, I, I know it's not a lot, but he hasn't found any top answers. Okay. So think of the obvious. You need 126 points. Okay. If you get 126 points and find the top five answers, you get £5,000 and the car. I'm going to ask you the same five questions. You get 20 seconds. If you duplicate any of the answers, you'll hear the sound. And I'll ask you for another. Can we remind the viewers at home of the answers we've had? And can I have 20 seconds on the clock? Good luck. We want you to do it, OK, Bill? Thanks. It can be done. <laughs> Name something that gets wet when you use it. Bathing costume. A reason for looking in a mirror. To see if your makeup's OK. A famous British street. Coronation Street. Another. Pass. A room in the house. Bedroom. An animal that lives in the mountain. Bear. A, a famous British street. <sighs> uh, Downing Street. Whoa. <laughs> well done. <laughs> oh. Well done, you really retrieved very well then. So we need 126. Let's see how we did. We need, obviously, all of them to be flashing answers for the car. So this first one, if it doesn't flash, we know that we can't get the car, but we can then go on for the £5,000, OK? Yeah. First of all, I asked you to name something that gets wet when you use it. You said... A bathing costume. I thought that said bath cost then. <laughs> you said bathing costume. Our survey said, let's see it flash. Oh. 13, hard luck. Hard luck. We can't go for the car. The top answer there was brolly and was worth 28. OK? An unusual answer. I wouldn't have said brolly. I would have gone more with something like bathing costume. We have 87. We need 113 for the £5,000, OK? Right. All right. A reason for looking in a mirror. You said to do your makeup. Our survey said 26. <laughs> that woman's heart that made you say makeup, isn't it, mate? <laughs> We need 87. The top answer there was to do your hair and was worth right. 30. Only another four points it would have given you. A famous British street. You first of all gave me the answer we'd already had, Coronation Street. You then changed it to Downing Street. We got that at the last second. Let's see. It should do well for you. You said Downing Street. Our survey said... 42. <laughs> top answer. We're doing well. We need 45 from our last two answers. OK. A room in the house was the next question. You said, bedroom, we'd already, already had lounge, that wasn't a top answer. Is bedroom a top answer? You said bedroom. Our survey said... 38! 
We've got 193. We only need seven for that £5,000 to add to the country hotel break and the £391 you've already got. Finally, an animal that lives in the mountain. You said, bear. It has to be worth seven or more to win the £5,000. You said, bear, our survey said... Yes! of £6,051. That's not bad, is it? They're happy. Come and join us. We'll see you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye-bye. How's your heart, Bill? Just about. <laughs>